All right, you've got your Zoom account all set up and you've downloaded the client onto your computer and you're ready to start integrating it with Canvas. The first thing you need to do is open up a web browser. I recommend Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. I have a course I'll open, but go ahead, take a minute, pause the video if you need to, um, navigate to Canvas in the way that is normal for you, and go ahead and open any of your courses. All right, hopefully now you have a course that's open. Hopefully your course looks a little bit more exciting than mine. I just don't have anything in this one right now. In the course on the left, you have a menu of different options to choose different tools and items that integrate with Canvas. But on the very bottom, there is an option to go into your course settings. Go ahead and click that. Within the settings options, you have five different little subsections of items you can kind of configure for your Canvas course. We're going to choose navigation. Now the way this navigation works is that the items on the top, all of these little blocks we'll call them, are the ones that students will see once you start using the items. And at the bottom, we have the items that students won't see um, just because you're not using them or you have chosen to have students kind of not see those tools or have direct access. So while we're here, we might as well do a little cleanup. I'm going to just take some of my items. For instance, I'm not using badges. So I can drag this down to the bottom. I'm going to bring out the collaborations. I'm going to pull down chat and outcomes. I want to leave the library page. Your library page might look different, but hopefully there is some kind of page. I'm going to pull down pages because I don't want my students to go directly to my pages. I want them to go to my pages as I reveal them to my students. We want to keep the course evaluations. Those are important. I'm going to pull down Office 365, Conferences. Um, I'm going to leave the rest up here. And then I'm going to take my little Zoom block and I'm going to put it in the top section. Now wherever I drop the Zoom block is where it's going to show up in the course. So right now the Zoom block is going to show third from the top. Let's go ahead and save. This tricks everybody up. So make sure you save before you do anything else. And now you'll notice that Zoom shows right up on my menu. I'm going to go ahead and click Home. And I'm just going to look at Student View. And you'll notice that Zoom appears for students as well. It's kind of a little bit upset with me because I haven't configured the course a lot yet. Now, when I click on Zoom as an instructor, I have access to all of my meetings and I can schedule a new meeting right within Zoom, within Canvas. So I'm going to click on schedule a new meeting. And I can go ahead and give this a name. I can choose the time. So maybe it's next week sometime. Give it a length. Remember, you don't want to have it for too long. Students are going to zone out and not pay attention. So. I wouldn't go longer than one hour. Make sure that you choose the record the meeting automatically because um, not all of your students are going to be able to attend your meeting. So we just know that they don't have access to the right tools or to the internet at home. So we need to give them an option to access the materials even though they weren't there in class participating during your Zoom session. So go ahead and choose the In the Cloud um, tab for right now. Then go ahead and choose Save. This tells me that I could start my meeting even though it doesn't start right now. So instead I'm just going to click on Home just to kind of see my Zoom. And what if I click back on Zoom, it's now going to list the Zoom session for me. So here's my new meeting, and I can start the session right here. If I go back out and look as a student, I can see the class meeting, and I can join from this button right here. So it's that easy. You can keep adding all of the meetings you want, 
and then the students can access your cloud recordings from right within the Canvas course. Go ahead, uh, try that out, and good luck with your um, Canvas and Zoom sessions.